Edmund and his family lived in a small house on a hill. Edmund kept to himself, making video games and neglecting his wife and child. Life was simple, and they were happy. That was until the day Edmund heard a voice from inside. You must design a Binding of Isaac themed card game. It must be made. I will do my best to make this, Edmund replied, rushing into the living room and scribbling down drawings on index cards. Again, the voice called to him. This game must be multiplayer. Encourage barter, co-op play, and betrayal. It must feature an endless array of well-known monsters and items from the video game, as well as a slew of randomly chosen playable characters, each with their own unique playstyle. I will follow your instructions. I have faith in me, Edmund replied. Feverishly, Edmund churned out a prototype of over 300 cards and started testing with his so-called friends and family. But once more, the voice called to him. This game must be crowdfunded via Kickstarter and must feature tons of Binding of Isaac swag for fans. Yes, he replied, grabbing his prototype and throwing himself down into the unknown depths below. Designing this was, was fun and easy. My wife and I had a really fun time creating the cards. You know, I've designed well over 300 cards. I didn't think about converting the game into a card game until Studio 71 kind of approached me and were like, hey, would you ever want to do a card game? Currently, the prototype that we've been playtesting for the past few months and is still very open to change. I'm hoping to unlock characters and kind of design the characters as we go so people can, you know, see what all the abilities are for each of the characters and then try to envision how each of those abilities may affect gameplay. I'm treating this as I would any game that I've ever worked on. Like this is a serious project that I test multiple times a week for hours with friends. The card game is incredibly similar to the video game, except it doesn't play like it at all. Like, it embodies what the game is, except it's a multiplayer environment. It's competitive, but a little cooperative, and there's a lot of betrayal involved. Um, that's stuff that doesn't exist in the video game at all. People interact a great deal. You know, you take the role of a character with a specific ability that can either hurt or help somebody, but everything else about the game is all there. Well, I hope that they spread the word as much as possible because we do only have 30 days. I definitely need as much, need as much help in retweeting and, and uh, tell everybody you know because I hope that everything that I've written down and I've designed over the past few months is able to fit in the game. But in order for that to happen, we need as much support as possible. All I can say is I promise it won't be a cash grab for, you know, hey, we're just gonna rebrand uh, an existing game completely with a bunch of Binding of Isaac thing, things and I I am doing my best to make sure that this is a kickstart for a card game that plays well. That, as a designer that's what I care about. I want to make a very playable and fun game that has a lot of strategy to it that also embodies exactly what the Binding of Isaac is all about. It's all about you know breaking the game, hoarding items, and, and, and getting screwed over. Like, it, it encompasses everything, you know, that's, that's unique and fun about the game.